Hello aspirant, this question is from gate 2018, mechanical engineering paper set 1, question number 48. The true stress sigma, true strain epsilon, diagram of a strain hardening material is shown in the figure. First, there is loading up to point A, that is up to stress of 500 MPa, mega pascal and strain of 0 0.5. Then from point A, there is unloading up to point B that is to a stress of 100 MPa given that the Young's modulus E is equal to 200 gigapascal the natural strain at point B epsilon B is dash we need to find out strain at point B let's understand the stress strain relationship that is given we can see that when the material is loaded up to point A stress in the material is 500 MPa and strain is 0 0.5. Hence, there is certain plastic deformation stored in the material because in the unloading graph, we can see that it do not return to 0. It will return to a certain strain value that is epsilon b and a stress value of 100 MPa. Hence, we see that during unloading, what happens is elastic strain is recovered. So, along the line AB, there is a recovery of strain. As the elastic strain is recovered, we say that line AB represents a linear elastic curve. If this line represents a linear elastic curve, its slope should be Young's modulus E, which is equal to 200 gigapascal. Expressing this in MPa, because the stress values are given in megapascal, we represent this in megapascal, 200 into 10 to the power 3 megapascal. If we calculate the slope from graph, slope of line AB, slope of AB, we have 500 minus 100, which is on y-axis, the stress values. This is in MPA, divided by the strain values on x-axis, 0 0.5 minus epsilon B. This is unitless. So, we get this to be 400 divided by 0.5 minus epsilon b. This is equal to E because slope of line AB is nothing but Young's modulus. Hence, we equate it 200 into 10 to the power 3 MPa. By solving this equality, we get 0 0.5 minus epsilon b is equal to 400 upon 200 into 10 to the power 3 it is 0 0.5 minus 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. We get the answer to be 0 0.498. Strain value at point B, that is epsilon B, is 0 0.498. Natural strain at point B is 0 0.498. To learn more about the mechanical properties of materials, you can refer to NPTEL video, lecture 13, part 2, Mechanical Properties, Tension Test, Plastic Deformation by Professor Ratna Kumar Annabatullah. He is from Department of Mechanical Engineering, IIT Madras. I hope this solution will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.